All right, welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about Act 2 of Toy Story 4 and the types of major storyline and plot points that you should be looking out for in your own writing. So Act 2 is primarily concerned with the journey, rising action, and rising stakes and complications for your character. You also have a B story that goes on in the, in the background. That's something that we'll be talking about a lot more when we get to television this week. So look out for these things. Um, protagonist's new plan changed by plot point one. Plot point one in our first act being that very final thing that happens in the first act. In Toy Story 4, it is when Forky is taken hostage by Gabby Gabby. Also look out for the hero's defeat, a midpoint plot plan, um, which is going to come with a new plan. Usually a new character is introduced at this point. We've got B story development, rising action, rising stakes. Now this really happens all along here. Um, I just made one column for it or one row. And then finally the opponent's retaliation and plot point two. So just like act one ends with plot point one, your act two is going to end with plot point two. So after Woody's taken to the playground, he's actually reunited with Bo Peep. And as you guys know, the act two of a film is typically in a different location. That is true for Toy Story 4 as well. So we have this outside component. The majority of it, though, is inside the antique store. So meanwhile, Buzz gets into some trouble but meets a couple of new friends. These guys right here. Um, and then he rushes to try to look for Woody and Forky, who were supposed to be back already. So that's our rising stake, as well as our B story. Our B story um, are the toys that are still back in the RV and what they're doing to try to stall for time. So Jessie being the clever cowgirl that she is, punctures the tire of the RV and, um, and stalls for time. But we know that, you know, dad's working on the tire and it, that won't hold forever. So in the meantime, the toys successfully enter the antique store by going through the roof and a new plan is formed. So they are led by Bo, who spent time in the store and knows her way around. So as you can imagine, Woody, with his character flaw being his need to control, he, he tries to be okay with this, but you're going to see that his fundamental need for control and his, his, his need to be impulsive really messes things up. Remember that your protagonist cannot be perfect. All right, meanwhile, we see Forky hostage, but he's happy with Gabby Gabby, so she's kind of a nice captor. Um, she shares her desire to be loved by a kid, and Forky really feels for her, um, as you can see here, his little hand on hers. Um, she is a Pixar protag or antagonist, so um, she can't be that bad, right? And also, you're going to see at the end that Pixar does some really cool things with Gabby Gabby's character. All right, so now they're inside the store. The toys go with Bo's plan until... Woody sees Bonnie and her mom enter, and this causes him to abandon the plan on impulse. Unfortunately, due to his impulsive action, a fight ensues, and Bo's sheep are taken, um, which she's very upset about, obviously, um, and a new plan has to be formed. Woody feels very badly about this. So let's see where we are. Let's check in so far. So did we get a new plan changed by plot point one in a new setting? We did. So that was when Buddy enlisted the help of newly found Bo, Buzz and friends join the search party. Bo Peep leads the planning, again, which Woody tries to be okay with, but he really struggles with this. All right, we have our hero's defeat. So Woody's tendency to act on impulse and his need to control the situation come back to bite him. He abandons Bo's plan when he sees Bonnie and her mom come into the store, and this results in them being seen by Gabby Gabby in a chase where Bo's sheep are taken. I put injured here, but they're actually not injured yet. Um, and then, of course, our mid plot point and new plan and we're about to talk about that so Bo very upset at Woody and her sheep being taken forms a new plan she leads them to someone called Duke Kaboom a Canadian stunt toy with a motorcycle to ask for his help this is definitely an ego check for Woody who uh, is a little bit unnerved by this kind of handsome stunt toy so here they are here's Duke Kaboom he's really a funny character um, so he's Canadian stunt toy, and so Woody's not very pleased with this, but goes with the plan. And, and Duke does agree to help. His motorcycle is going to help them jump from one of the, um, on the, the top of a cabinet to the other cabinet where Forky is being held hostage along with the sheep. So here they are. In the meantime, we see Buzz and his furry pals able to get that key. So Bo's plan works with the help of Duke, 
and Woody and Bo gain access to the cabinet where they find Forky and Bo's sheep. And there's a really funny moment where Bo Peep's like, wait, he's an actual fork? Well, it's kind of some comic relief. So, unfortunately, the plan is not perfect. Duke falls, drawing the attention of the vicious cat, as well as the dummies, who also spot Buzz and the bunnies on top of the other cabinet. The reunion does not last long, so that they are pulled into a fight and everyone is involved. Bo does save Woody at least once, and a new plan is quickly formed to get them out to safety again, but I bet you can guess what happens. Yep. Something happens, Forky's dropped, and Woody abandons the plan again to save him. So he's got really good, like he's got a good heart, Woody does, but he just doesn't think things through, and his impulsive decisions have consequences. In this case, this gets Giggles eaten by this really vicious cat and Bo's sheep injured. Um, don't worry, it, it again, it's like, it's rated G, so they're not really going to have anything bad happen to a character, and Giggles ends up being fine. So Woody, um... After, but Duke Kaboom gets them out safely. Um, unfortunately, Woody decides to go back in to save Forky. Um, fortunately or unfortunately, depending on how you look at it. So the other toys leave him. They abandon him. Woody goes back alone. And after confronting Gabby Gabby, she tells him a really sad story about wanting to be loved and needing his voice box. And he gives in. Um, he gets it because he gets the need to be loved by a kid. Um, so really, our hero, this is a really really special moment here where our protagonist and our antagonist have a heart to heart and they see eye to eye. So he gives in and at this point it feels like all hope is lost. This is the key feature of plot point two and the key feature of ending your act two. We should feel as the reader or the viewer of your screenplay that all hope is lost by the end of the second act and indeed this is where act three starts. So let's check in. Let's see if we check check to all of our boxes um b story development rising action rising stakes yes so buzz and furry friends are getting the key to the cabinet forky's being held and then dad is repairing the tire we see that happening all the time in the background um the new plan Bo and woody are joined by all of the other toys they're successful at getting into the cabinet but duke falls and there is a fight um, opponent's retaliation in plot point two, that is when Woody, acting on impulse, makes his own plan and gets everyone involved in order to save Forky. And Giggles gets eaten momentarily. Duke gets everyone out safely, but the sheeps are injured. Woody insists on going back inside. Nobody agrees, so he goes in alone and agrees to let Gabby Gabby have his voice box in exchange for Forky. And again, at this point, all hope seems lost. And that's where we're going to end today. I will be at, back at you tomorrow with Act 3 as well as television. Have a great day.